Hello, my name is Yoshimasa Konagai, and I'm the mayor of the city of Fuji, Shizuoka, in Japan. In 1991, we formed sister city alliances with Oceanside City, California, in America. This year, we are celebrating the major milestone that is our 30th anniversary of our sister and friendship city relations. I'm very proud that we have been able to build such an amazing relationship with Oceanside City. Our interaction with diverse culture and the deep sense of friendship fostered from long-lasting exchanges are truly irreplaceable assets to our cities. These are difficult times now, and neither of our cities have been able to visit during this global coronavirus pandemic. So instead, a citizen volunteer group with the assistance of city hall members created an introduction video in English for Fuji City, which includes our culture, sites such as Mount Fuji, and the daily life of our city. You'll find this video to be interesting and full of appeal. Please take a look and discover the charm of Fuji City. With these expert tour guides, you will be able to explore the wonderful city of Fuji. We hope you have a pleasant journey. Fuji City is located in the middle of Japan, on the east side of Shizuoka Prefecture. You can access Fuji City's Shinfuji Station in about 70 minutes by Shinkansen or a blue train from our capital, Tokyo. This area has Mount Fuji to the north and Suruga Bay to the south. Fuji City is the only place in Japan where you can see Mount Fuji from sea level to the peak. The paper industry first florist in Fuji throughout the age since the city is blessed with an abundant amount of spring water from Mount Fuji and there are many manufacturers even today. Among them, one produced the largest amount of toilet paper, which is a daily necessity in Japan. Look at this bag. Do you know what this is made of? These are all made of paper. This is the work of paper-based weaving strands featuring many different colors. This is the raw material to weave into a paper craft and back weave with paper bands. There are many other lovely paper crafts made with paper bands. In Fuji City, we can make various craft products produced from paper. Coming up next, here we will introduce local foods. You can find white bait fish cut in the Suruga Bay around the town of Tangonola. Spaghetti pasta with dipping Napolitan sauce, boiled peanuts, green tea, and sake only available in Fuji City. If you have the chance to come here, you should definitely try them. Various types of festivals are held in Fuji City depending on the season. Bishamon Festival is famous for Daruma Good Luck Doors, Yoshiwara Gionsai, Kinoene Matsuri, 
and Fuji Festival are held in summer. We want you to see more and more of Fuji City, so our local guides will introduce you to stunning sight on each topic. Please continue exploring the city of Fuji. Have a wonderful journey. Welcome to Iwamoto Yama Park. We are Fuji City voluntary tour guides. I'll show you around. This spacious park sits on Iwamoto Yama Hill, about 200 meters above sea level. It attracts not only local people, but also a lot of tourists. We can enjoy different flowers and blossoms depending on the seasons especially spring blossoms and Mount Fuji, which are the best match. And a lot of people come here to take photos. Illuminated plum and cherry blossoms invite visitors into a mystical world. No other place in Japan is better than here to take photos of the plum blossoms against the backdrop of Mount Fuji. All year round, a lot of people visit here. Looking forward to blooming, so many people visit here to enjoy cherry blossom viewing in spring. Picnicking and just playing on the lawn are also fun. Walking along a path among wild azalea trees is special. Near Iwamoto Yama Park, a tea field stretches. Fresh green leaves and the blue sky make Mount Fuji. After these blossoms, a lot of kinds of colorful roses start to bloom. As the rose is the official flower of Fuji City, rose parks and gardens are dotted around the city. Roses also pair well with Mount Fuji. In June, you can see blue and white hydrangeas against the backdrop of summer Mount Fuji, whose snow cap has already melted. The view overlooking Fuji City from an observatory here is stunning. You can see several bridges over Fujikawa River, which has the largest river mouth in Japan and the Pacific Ocean beyond it. Fuji City is an important place for main transportation routes in Japan. Wow, Mount Fuji again! At the foot of Iwamoto Yama Hill, there stands an old temple called Jisoji. It has a 900 History. The building's head is sculptured carved by skilled artisans. You can see a Shinkansen, a bread train passing over a bridge. Mount Fuji seen from the train's windows is also impressive. Fuji City has a port called Tangonorako facing the Pacific Ocean. Mount Fuji
beauty behind the structures seen from the sea is magnificent. Depending on seasons, places, and weather, Mount Fuji has different faces. Mount Fuji is never the same. You never get tired of seeing Mount Fuji. Presentation. Hi everyone, I'm Izumi Hirakawa. This is my husband, and these are my daughters. In this video, I'm going to share the awesome places to visit with little kids in Fuji City. Let's get started. First of all, I would like to introduce Fujinokuni Tagonoura Minato Park. It's a very large park constructed using soil dredged during maintenance work of Tagonoura Port. We can enjoy incredible sights of the sea and sky here. They never fail to amaze me. Also, there are lots of things to play with. My daughter's favorites are these athletic places. They seem absorbed in playing. This is Mount Fuji Dragon Tower. This tower is built on a hill and has two spiral staircases. It can be used as a tsunami evacuation facility in the event of an earthquake. As Fuji City is located at the southern foot of Mount Fuji and faces through the bay, we can also see both the sea and mountain views from up here. Next, let's take a look at the cafeteria run by Tagonora Cooperative Fishery near the park. We can eat fresh white bay fish here. In Tago Bay, much white bait is caught because of abundant plankton due to nutrition coming down from the mountains. It is a popular spot for both tourists and local people. On this day, we had some balls of white bait. They were really delicious. Now, what I want to show you next is Fujito Minato no Mieru Park, which means a park you can see Mount Fuji and the port. In this park, we can see Mount Fuji and Takonoura Port from an observatory on a sunny day. There are also places for kids, so the whole family can spend a relaxing time here. Another way to enjoy this park is to see the legendary Aji Shrine and the Stupa or Buddhist Tower. It's an educational spot where we can learn about history and culture of Fuji City. Lastly, I would like to show you Central Park, which is located right in the center of Fuji City. This park is divided into east and west areas by a suspension-like bridge. In both areas, roses, official flower of Fuji City, are grown. Many people visit here during the season when the roses are fully bloomed. The vast grounds are full of greenery, beautiful forests, lawn squares, outdoor stages, and much more. We can enjoy this park in various ways. We have so many playgrounds in Fuji City. 
If you have a chance, please come and visit us. Thank you for watching. I'm Jose and I'm Mizuha. We are sixth grade students of Fujidani Elementary School. This is our school. We will introduce you to our school lunchtime. Let's go! Put on this white coat and white cap before lunchtime. Why do we wear them? School students serve the food themselves. We eat lunch in our classroom. Our lunch is prepared in the school kitchen and then carried to our classroom by serving elevator and carts. When lunchtime arrives, serving team members serve the meals on dishes and plates for classmates. Together, the class says Itadakimasu before eating lunch. Itadakimasu is an expression of giving thanks before eating a meal. We try to leave as little leftovers as possible. After the meal, we clean up the dishes ourselves. The dishes are stacked and separated by shape. Milk packs are opened and washed for recycling. The school nutrition net calculates the nutritional balance of the meals and comes up with a different daily menu for each month. We love school lunch times because we get a variety of menu items every day. Our school lunch includes food that is either from part of Shizuoka Prefecture city or local in this area. For example, the bread and Fujinomiya yakisoba noodles are cooked with wheat, pork and onion from Shizuoka Prefecture. Vegetables from Fuji City are often used to make soup and salad. These fried black fish cakes and Fujinomiya yakisoba noodles are local dishes. We have introduced lunches at our school. As you can see, Fuji City has many delicious food and dishes. If you ever visit, be sure to try some Fuji's cuisine. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Tanami. I'm Hiroko. We have lived in the city since we were born. 
we are going to introduce two wonderful things. As far, do you know the secondary story? It's a story about a princess who was born from a bamboo. Her name was Princess Kabia. We are going to show you Kabia's in the museum. After that, we will show you Hiromi Park. It has a lot of nature and historical buildings. Here we go! Let me tell you about the Taketori story. It means the tale of the bamboo cutter. The bamboo cutter discovered a tiny baby girl in a shining bamboo stem. He and his wife raised her. Three months later, she became a beautiful lady. She was named Princess Kabi. She was so beautiful that five men proposed to her. She gave them impossible tasks. No one could finish them. Then she returned to the moon. Every Japanese person knows this tale. But there is a different version of this story in Fuji City. That is, she didn't return to the moon, but she returned to the peak of Mount Fuji and became the goddess of Mount Fuji. This is a beautiful and mysterious story. This is an ancient tomb built in the latter half of the 6th century. It is expected that the person in power who had dominated the whole area was buried there because potteries and swords were found. This is a warehouse and this is a house from the early 9th century. This is the oldest private house in Fuji City. It has a thatched roof and a room for silkworm culture. This is a monument of Diana. In 1854, while Russian worship, Diana was entering into Shimoda port to conclude a treaty. An earthquake happened. Diana drifted into Miyajima, which is located to the south of Fuji City. People in Miyajima rescued 500 Russian people. The Russia Moscow Association donated this monument built in commemoration. This is a sculpture garden. You can see some unique sculptures. This is a rose garden. There are 2,000 stocks. Our city flower is the white rose. We named it Kaguya Fuji. You'll have a relaxing time walking in both culture and artistic surroundings. Hi everyone, we are Cherry's Factory. We are a cheerleading team that is based in Fuji City. We usually perform at many venues such as local events, festivals, and cheerleading competitions. We have participated in the Cheer Dance World Championship that was held in the U.S. for nine years in a law, and we won first place for six times. When we competed in the World Championship, we met many different people from around the world and created strong bonds of friendship. Even though we spoke different languages, we were able to share our feelings and respect for each other by pursuing one common goal. With this feeling and with gratitude to everyone who supports us, 
we will bring smiles and energy to everyone with our motto. Keep smile, keep energy, and keep high tension. We hope that our cheer spirit reaches you. I am I. I'm at Fujikawa Rakuza. Let me introduce you to this exciting place. Let's go! Fujikawa Rakuza is a service area along both the General Road and the Tome Expressway, a toll freeway. It is located beside Fuji River, west of Fuji City. With the view of Mount Fuji, it's always crowded with local people and tourists. You can find a variety of specialty products of Fuji City and Shizuoka Prefecture here, so it's a good place for picking out souvenirs. Jizu a fresh fish market, where you can take food to go. Also, delicious dishes made with local produce can be enjoyed at restaurants and food courts. There is a planetarium, which plays great popular music. Experience Center for Children. Yeah. 
wear the same changes often. And cafe from where you can enjoy the view of Mount Fuji too. You can even play a piano here. This is a 60 meters high Ferris wheel called Fuji Sky View. On a clear day, numerous people enjoy a spectacular view from the gondolas. The see-through gondolas are very thrilling and very popular. Wow! I just bought a ticket to ride it. Come join me. The grand view of Mount Fuji. Fuji City. And Suruga Bay from there is so splendid that you cannot help but to take many photos. This is a 60 meters high point. How did you like the Ferris fields and the wonderful view? When you visit Fuji City, I hope you would enjoy it.
What did you think about the sights and scenery of Fuji City? We hope you enjoyed it, the experience in the video. Please visit Fuji City to experience in the first hand. Journey into Fuji City.